Google AI called Minerva can now do your math homework. That might not seem so impressive since AlphaZero can beat the best chess players in the world, but let me explain why this is a big deal. Minerva is a language model, so it was built to do translations and be a chatbot, not to solve math equations. I'm Matei, and I make videos about AI. Let me give you an example of what kind of problems it can solve. Question, a particle moves so that it is at three sine t over four and three cosine t over four at time t. Find the speed of the particle measured in unit of distance per unit of time. If you've been out of school for a while, this is not the most trivial problem to solve, but the model is able to provide the correct answer and also shows you the intermediate steps. It can also do simple math proofs like this one. For every a and b, b not equal a, prove that a squared plus b squared over two is larger than a plus b over two squared. And then Minerva just spits out the correct answer for you. So quantitative problems like these have been a challenge for language models. So let me explain how Minerva is able to accomplish these results. Minerva is built on Pathways language model, which was published by Google a few months ago. And then they trained this model with additional 118 gigabytes of scientific papers. So first important modification they've done is to make sure that equations are translated properly. So a lot of language models take uh, equations and transform them to text and then the equations can lose meaning. Minerva does a much better job processing the text to keep the equations intact. What I found quite interesting is that Minerva does not use a calculator. They also used four additional techniques to get a better performance. First, few shot prompting, which means ability to learn tasks with limited examples. Second, chain of thought, which means the model is prompted to produce intermediate reasoning steps. Third, scratch pad prompting, which to me seems very similar to the chain of thought. If anybody really understands the big difference between these two, please put it in your comments below. And the last is majority voting. The language model gives a lot of different answers for each problem, and then it picks the one that came out the most often in its results. So before you throw away your math textbook and go back to TikTok, let me talk about some limitations. For math problems, Minerva is correct only 50% of the time. This is much better than the other state-of-the-art models in the industry, but it's still only 50%. In their blog, Google gives some examples when Minerva got it wrong. Here's a simple question when it got it wrong. If square root of 400 equals to square root of 81 plus square root of n, what is the value of n? And the model gave an answer of 319, which is clearly wrong. What the model did was to cancel the square root on each side of the equation, and you can't do that. So here's the correct answer. Square root of 400 is 20, square root of 81 is nine. So square root of n is equal to 11. So n equals to 121. One thing Google pointed out is that the model is not grounded in formal math. So the way I read this is that the model doesn't understand what it's doing, but it's really good at predicting the correct answers. Another big limitation is that the model's answers can be automatically verified. Even if the final answer is correct, the intermediate steps could be incorrect and therefore the answer could be incorrect and that would be a false positive. But despite these limitations, we have to remember that these language models are still pretty new and they will only get better from here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.